So with abortion planning, homosexuality, you mentioned it, on uh, contraceptives, you know, telling young girls and boys you can, you can be sexually active, but you don't have to be responsible for a child because your education is more important than anything else. You know, you can abort a child and will, don't tell your parents. You know, same mindset that is uh, plaguing this land now is there in that country. So the warfare here, the warfare there, as far as the church goes, as far as our family goes, is the same. Make no mistake. So we're in this for a long haul, but we are following a commander in chief that has turned the world upside down. So we are not going to swing back. If there's going to be another persecution, so be it. Yes. So that's what we all need to understand what we're doing in South Sudan with this ministry. So, but going back to my college life, I was reading um, the wisdom of man as opposed to the wisdom of God. You know, a lot of you who are students here, who may be going to public school or home school, I don't know your background, uh, who are going to Christian school, you know, I'm sure you have a hope. I'm sure you have a plan. I'm sure your parents have something for you that they want you to be, you know? And when I was in college, you know, if you are not grounded in the Word of God, young men and women here, those who want to go to college, I guarantee you, you will be swept right. off, yeah. off the platform right. of your faith in yeah. minutes mm -hmm. by professors, yeah. by fetish students, by books that you read, and by your own pride. Yeah, yeah. You know, the same pride that a lot of young children carry from being against their parents' teaching, against the church, that rebellious attitude you get from high school, wherever you get it, how you get it, it will follow you wherever you go. And then it will be precipitated by what the college put in your mind, and you will become an atheist in a short time. Mm -hmm. So when I was in college, one of the, one of the, one of the uh, thing that uh, why I was part of the university was we are a small Christian group, and our, our group is struggling to be registered as part of university Christian fellowship in the campus, so so that we get funding. But they were discriminating against the, the, this institution of university because we are a religious entity. And uh, our college pastor was saying, we need money from the school. I said, why do you need the money from from them if they don't want to give money to us simply because we are a religious entity? Who cares? We will have the fellowship. We will have the fellowship and God will provide. We don't want to be handicapped by that system. Amen. You know? So it was, and we dropped the whole thing and then the fellowship went on. And I, was, I remember I was taking a class, a uh, humanity class. I'm from engineering ground, background, but you have to take some humanity classes. Um, and they were teaching the Bible as some kind of Middle Eastern point of, poetry, right? This is what it is. And uh, when you read the Old Testament, so what? Moses and all of these things that you read, you know, it's not an Israeli issues. He's copying from other culture from within, from there. To think that this is God talking to him is all what? Is he was hallucinating, like bring all psychology to it. So I told this sure. professor, I'm not going to take this class. I've never taken the Bible as a literature. And I will not take that. You know, if there was one class I dropped in college, uh, it was when they want me to take the Bible as a literature. Um, then I went and took, a, of course I have to take a, a substitute for a technical writing, but I took a literature, um, English literature class, and this man was teaching a, a book, The Crucible, how many of you read the crucibles? And um, it was, I think, a written story from uh, uh, Salem, Massachusetts. And he was basically demonizing the church at the time, basically trying to brainwash. Um, I was the only student with another gentleman named JP, John Peters. He was from New Jersey, uh, North Hills in New Jersey. We just stood against this professor squarely. Every time he tried to bring the charge against the church, against the Christians, we just refuted him head on. And amen. 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 
and many more police say, you know, this guy's gonna give you a D. You are not gonna pass this class. I said, I'd rather get a D than he gets away right. with it. That's right. And um and uh so and uh talk about the Inquisition of Galileo, um Galilee. We went into all of that and uh, you know, I said, Look, Galileo uh the Catholic Church persecuted Galileo. I mean, uh, asking to repent. But, you know, those individuals didn't read the Bible very well. Because Galileo basically used the book of Job in his writings. He was a theologian himself in order to understand that the, world, the earth was round, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and that, uh, you know, uh, so those of you who, 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 who who read the uh, uh, history about Galileo Galilee, uh, the Italian theologian and scientist, you know, this man was saying, you know, the church has been wrong, they did this to Galileo. So I said, no, Galileo never really blamed the Bible. He blamed the leadership of Catholic hierarchy because the Bible says true to what Galileo says. And he didn't do anything different than the Bible did not say. So you have to know your substance and uh, in order to refuse such a, a person. Um, I took a psychology class with a, a gentleman uh, because it's required that you have to take the psychology. It never entered in my heart. It never entered in my head. I, just, I got an aid in it, but I refused the professor all the way <laughs> to the end of semester. And uh, yeah, going back to the English uh, literature, he, he also, he, at the end of the, the class, we, we both got a B plus for that class. And the professor said, I disagree with what you're saying, but I cannot, uh, I cannot, I never find students who can actually refute me on these things. You know? Some of you, you think when you talk to the professor, they're going to give you a D, you're afraid. Well, let them give you a D. But at the same time, they learn. They learn. They learn something that nobody ever told them. And they say, I have respect for you. Even though I may not, say, I may not agree with what. But at least you gave him something deeper than he knows. So I come to realize the professor are just individuals that are just students who grew up like you and me, who happen to be professors. Some are just grew up in a very belligerent way, in a, in a very rebellious family, and no background in scripture. Right. So you understand that, you can refute them. They are not God, they will never be God. They give right. you great, right? So do not be afraid. I don't know more of you, where you go to school, but I'm just laying a grand rule here. If you happen to go to a public school, uh, university, all right? So uh, if you're in there, I'm not going to talk you out of it. So go ahead, but stand your ground. But if you didn't get there, I would prefer you get homeschooled. And I went to college when I was at the age, most of us, uh, in, in this room, we went to library to get your research done. There's no way else to go. Computer was still very, very in, in, infant. Now, college, college library to me is all irrelevant, you know, to really life and what you need to know. You can go, you can go on your internet and do your work from home. It cut down your cost. You can graduate from this university with no money pay our uh, debt, pay to anybody. You can embark on seeing that matter to life. Marriage, family, all of these things. You could do it. You can work with your family. These are the things that I do encourage you young men, and young men specifically, I will encourage you to do. So, um, I'm coming to the end of uh, the, uh, uh, of my conversation here, uh, what I would like to share with you. But all in all, I will say, all whatever you do is to give glory to God. Don't let anything stand on your way. That will cause you to stumble. And give an account of why you are a believer. And that's what the United States needs. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what right. the family needs. Amen. That's what the church needs. Some of you will become politicians, whatever God has intended for you. If you don't have the foundation, you will wreck this country with your own hand. Mm. So, um, but obey, trust, and God be with you. <laughs>